Welcome, real estate agents. I started my career in real estate by door knocking. In today's video, I'm outlining the base tactics for a winning door knocking strategy. If you're in the real estate game or thinking about getting into it, then this video is for you. Now, at the very top of the effectiveness scale is the door knocking strategy. If you need to generate business right now, door knocking is the single most effective tactic to generate leads bar none. A distant second would be cold calling, but it's way behind. Sure, there's other methods that work great like open houses, social media, Google ads, YouTube, postcards, and newspapers, but all these are at higher cost and are less direct. But we want to weave those things into our overall strategy. But we want to make door knocking the primary focus for today. And here's why door knocking is the real deal. You get to choose where you work, the type of homes that you want to sell, and the price point. Talk about hyper focused lead generation. This is it. And most importantly, few agents are doing it. And why don't they do it? It's because it's real work but it could be real effective and real satisfying if done well. The number one goal of door knocking is to build a massive real estate prospect pipeline in an economical way. But beware, fellow realtors, it's not about instant gratification. It's about building that pipeline for the long haul. You see, it takes time to create a mature pipeline, like six months to two years to see those opportunities pay off. What you do today might not show up in financial rewards for six to 12 months or longer. One mistake agents make is that when the residual pipeline starts to pay off, they start to slow down. They take their foot off the accelerator. To keep the momentum going, when you feel like you're having trouble keeping up, this is when you need to scale and make your first hire, which could be uncomfortable, which is usually a buyer's agent. You should keep knocking as your business grows and then over time reduce the time somewhat, but never ever abandon it. For new agents out there, door knocking should be your secret weapon. It's the fastest way to build a large pipeline at a minimal cost. The only catch is it takes effort, endurance, and it takes dedication. Dedicate the time to practice your scripts and routinely hit the streets and diligently enter prospects into your database and properly follow up. Do this and you'll be on your way to growing a profitable real estate business. Now let's talk about the ideal location to do door knocking. We're looking for areas with a high annual turnover rate, preferably 5% or more. For example, if a community had 500 homes, a good turnover would be 25 homes or more being sold each year. Focus on four to five communities where you want to be recognized. This effectively is your prospecting farm. Condos are fantastic because they can be a stepping stone property for growing families needing more space. Also target mature neighborhoods of 15 years or older, as many homeowners there might want to downsize as their lives change and they become empty nesters. When is the best time to door knock? On weekdays, aim for 2 p.m. to 8 p.m., but honestly, any time works. On weekends, hit the streets from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. The best case scenario is when all decision makers will be there. Now, let's talk about your dress your attire. Business casual is the way to go in summer, but you have more freedom in cooler months. And when it comes to shoes, sneakers or shoes that look like sneakers are highly recommended for comfort because you're going to be doing a lot of walking, miles and miles and miles of walking. Before you head out, know your neighborhood inside and out. Familiarize yourself with recent sales, price per square foot, and the number of homes in the neighborhood, the year that they were built, and the average days on the market, plus other pertinent information. Pack your toolkit wisely, but lightly. Essential is a trusty mobile phone charged to jot down prospect information or to show them properties in the MLS or properties that are nearby to theirs. Don't overload yourself with stuff because the goal is to get the prospect's contact information, but you may want one of these or a combination of these items with you. Those would be business cards, sticky notes, business card magnets, or flyers. If you do a flyer, pick a property with an exciting story. Say like a property that sold for $30,000 over list or in less than three days. These can be real attention grabbers. Now, regarding the duration of door knocking, it's only limited by your stamina. 
I would recommend a minimum of three hours of actual door knocking, excluding preparation time and drive time. The perfect time to knock is between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. The first hour dedicated more towards warm up, and that will be good so that you're ready to go for the after 5 p.m. crowd. And remember, more daylight equals more opportunities. Let's talk the numbers now. Your daily goal is to have 200 real face-to-face -face interactions. That means people will actually open the door. So with a 50% answer rate, you'll need to knock 400 doors. And remember, the goal is to have a ton of conversation at the door. Daily leads goal is 40. A real lead that gets entered into your database are prospects who give their name, mobile number, and email. These are the only people that go into your database. Don't forget as well to enter critical database information like whether they're a buyer or a seller lead or both and notes about the interaction, the person's personality, and make sure you make those all important follow-up tasks. Getting their email address is crucial because it's the email that creates the best value link to the prospect. When you have the email, you could send automatic communications, namely new listings in real time. If you have a good website, you could even see when the prospects are favoriting properties in real time. And that's the cue for you to take acute action beyond the standard follow-up campaign. And now let's talk about the follow-up. Most prospects won't be ready to transact immediately. They'll be at the top of the funnel or maybe at the mid level of the funnel and need months or even years of follow-up. Only about 5% of closed business comes from the initial contact, so keep that follow-up game strong. Follow-up includes re-knocking the neighborhood, electronic drip campaigns, automatic new listings from your website, or direct contact with the prospect through calls, texts, and emails. And here's a pro tip. As soon as you get their email and phone, send a personal message thanking them for the connection and mentioning something special about their home family or their other interests that they may have brought up at the door. Make your customer feel valued and unique. Now, here's the most likely door knocking scenario. The prospect wants to look at homes and is not interested yet in listing their current home until they find another home that they like, hopefully with you. At this point, listing their home when they found something becomes paramount to getting their property on the market. It strengthens the possibility of getting the buyer side offer accepted by having their home listed. Now, as your pipeline matures, you might consider hiring help. If your pipeline is strong, your income is solid, you can't do it all yourself. Hire the help that you need, which will be uncomfortable to keep your business growing. The first likely hire would be a buyer's agent, and then from there you could scale accordingly. Master your door knocking scripts and continue to work on countering objections. These efforts build solid salesmanship skills. If you develop these skills early in your career, all your other communication methods will be greatly enhanced. The more confident your delivery, the more sales opportunities, the more closings you'll have. Take plenty of time to practice your scripts and objections. And that's it. That's the door knocking strategy 101. Go out there, put in the effort, and build that pipeline. Hit that like button if you found this information useful, and don't forget to subscribe for more real estate tips and strategies. I'll catch you next time in the next video. Meanwhile, keep knocking those doors and closing those deals.